include your audio so that when we talk shit about Kurt, everyone in the world can hear it. <laughs> Why, hello there. Nice, dude. Alright, did you include your audio? I did. Kurt sucks. Kurt sucks cock. Alright, everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's time for my first ad read. Blue Chew. Uh, it's the uh, it's the bail enhancement pill that we've all been asking for the rest of our lives. You ever drink too much and you're like, wow, I can't fuck this bitch? Well, now you can. Take Blue Chew and you can literally fuck uh, until the cows come home. Uh, Four ninety nine. Buy three monthly installments. Yeah, but Dylan, to get what? those kind of pills, don't you have to go to those like embarrassing visits and talk to a doctor face to face? Talk about like your penis and stuff. Uh, no, not anymore, actually. You just, like, uh, oh. enroll online, and you just give them your email address and your phone number, and no consultation required, and they just send it to you in five to seven business days. No way. I'm dead fucking serious, bro. Blue dude, Chew has changed so my life. bitches now? Yeah, dude. I honestly used to fuck zero bitches. But now <laughs> that I do Blue Chew, I take Blue Chew, I probably fuck at least one bitch, mm, at least once every couple of hours. Nice. And it's and one, it's like so one per meal it's, period for me. One per meal period? That's impressive, yeah. dude. I gotta wean myself off, honestly. I was fucking this bitch like literally like I don't know, thirty minutes before I started the stream. It was like so on a log in half. She was like begging for mercy. I didn't stop yeah, though because crazy. I'm because I'm an alpha male, of course. And yeah, I killed her. I'm serious. I don't believe it, dude. I heard everything. It's, I'm, dude, I'm actually being dead serious. I'm, a, I'm about as serious about this as I am about how my aunt, like, sexually assaulted me when I was 11 years old. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said that, I got one viewer. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> There's Kurt, dude. He's listening. He's, dude! <laughs> dude, you didn't tell me about that! What the fuck? Yeah. And what the Until fuck, that... why do I suck? Because you didn't Kurt, I'm sorry. Because you only play Sekiro if your boys there to hold your hand. I know. I tried to tell him too. I was like, yo dude, like don't treat it like a don't play it because we're telling you to, man. Like play it at your own pace. Oh trust me, I had a whole coming to use moment with him where I was like, dude, do you just not want to play this? Because, like you know it's one of my biggest things is I hate being jerked around by people telling me what I they think I wanna hear. I'd rather you just say you don't wanna play it. Yeah. He's like, No, dude, that's not it at all. I know. And it's That's like, alright, it. but you can see why I might think that, because it's like, you, you borrowed it like two weeks ago, and you played it like once. I know, and I, I also told him, I was like, dude, don't like, fucking tell Dan you're gonna play it, dude. Just like, play it, and if you play it, tell him about it. Don't fucking, don't try to placate him with like, vacant Yeah, don't tell me every day that you're gonna play it, then not. That's gonna be annoying. Exactly. But, I think he learned. I think he'll, I think he gets it. Uh, I, get. I also I also decided I just want to ask him about it again. Just hope he organically plays it. I think he will. I think he's like finally into it. Maybe if we sneak, we'll be all right. I think, dude. I'm sneaking right now, and it's working. Sick. Yeah, it's working like oh, fucking magic. Ah! We're gonna be all right, dude. Fucking queers. Dude, we're gonna make it, man. Oh! <laughs> oh no. I I know what we gotta do now, though. Gotta pick up my souls. You see where that archer shooting us? We're gonna run for it right now. All right, cool. You know what the worst thing about skeletons is, Dan? That. <laughs> <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It just like lanced right into your heart. <laughs> I jumped into it and it lanced my little heart. My palpitating little heart. heart. <laughs> your sweet little heart. It was just like plucked from your chest and I saw it like beating on like the little spike as it rolled away. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a little water balloon. It's like smiling friends imagery, I like that. <laughs> That's tight. 
We're gonna make it this time, though. I'm looking out the hood with this one. Oh, oh shit, dude. Ugh. So fucking stuck. So fucking stuck. Nice. Got the notification for my own little stream. That's cool. It's time. I'm gonna do this right this time, dude, right? Dude, I'm gonna play second row right now. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them. He's like, dude, I'm gonna start streaming. He never said that, and he never will say that. He did. He said he's gonna start. You're bullshitting. That's something Kurt would never do. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That would be very funny, though. I'd watch it. The day Kurt says that he starts streaming is the day that you tell me, like, dude, I'm thinking about starting a jerk stream where I literally just go <laughs> on, like, uh, what is it called? Like, it's one of those sites, <laughs> Minicam. I'm going to go on minicam.com and I'm going to start jerking off for money. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd sooner expect you to tell me that than Kurt to be like, yeah, dude, I just start streaming. <laughs> I'm going to start screaming. Screaming into the void like I do. These little, little robots. Fucking quest! <laughs> Satanic black magic! Satanic black magic tone. Here we go! We're gonna make it this time, dog. Yeah. All right. So instead of jumping furlong into danger, do you have a recommendation for traversing this? Would there be comfort? Oh. Do you have a plan? Uh, I have to like beat this. It's been a while. Take your time. Let me see how far down I go. It goes down pretty far now. I think we just gotta wait for him to pass and then we can hit that tunnel on the left. Oh! I did the thing again. <laughs> you love doing that thing. I didn't even mean to do that, dude. He just stops there now. Yeah, he like updates his route depending on like how far he's gotten. Yeah, clearly. This is where I do it. I'm going rogue. Fuck. Fuck, I got stuck too. Oh, he's giving us a wider birth canal. Look at this idiot. Look at the drip, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> got him on the way down, hell yeah. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Dragling. Fucking little fucking little little guy. Oh not yet. Oh he uses a wide berth there. Let's make it. Whoa! I almost didn't make it, dog. Oh wow, I'm retarded. These guys aren't really much of a threat anyway. Uh oh. I also have some uh, unfor unfortunate things to tell you about the area we just came from. Nice. There's more. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> there's like other, another, there's like probably, I forget what it is, but I'm sure it's like hidden items of some sort. Because most people, like they're expecting people to give up or not even think you can go down there, but pretty sure you do. Uh, you want to try and go back from or no? 
Because uh, I, I follow just, you. I could do it first, because if I die, it's not the end of the world. But See how there's like another tunnel over there to the right? Let me look. Yeah. So, I don't remember if it's this dungeon, but in particular, but this is a common theme with these, like these lava pits and shit. There are parts where you have to like traverse the lava r really quickly before the thing comes back. But if you walk normally through the lava, you walk like a snail space. Yeah. The technique that is used usually to traverse lava quick is you stand backwards and backstep. Because backstepping across the lava is way faster than walking straight across it. Oh, gee shit. I can. I, can I don't know if technique. you have to do that here, but I think you can even go even further down into this pit. And that you might have to use that technique. Let's see. Let's I'll watch you that. do it first. Yeah, I'll wait. I don't think I have to do it for this first one, but we'll see. I'll watch you. Because this one, the jump might be enough. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna wait for it to go back. So it's like I'm this. Gonna... I'm watching. I see what you're doing. That's just an example. I just did it. Oh, I fucked up doing it, but I did it. Okay. Yeah, there's like there's signs and shit down there. Cool. Okay. Can you follow us? I'll follow your lead. I am the hand and you are the will. Oh, that was so fucking stupid. Not to wait till <laughs> next time, that's I wasted time getting hit. <laughs> Sorry, right, time spender. Are you sticking to the left or the right when you do that? Um. Uh... I don't think it really matters. He's actually not following now. I think oh, he's yeah, just... locked on me. So I went all the way down and to the left. Popping back. And I'm popping back now too. I made it. I just pray he doesn't follow you down too. I hope he doesn't. Damn, dude, that backstep trip is trick is real, dude. That's a good trick. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah, see, it's a little special little item. Hope it's wow. worth it. I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> Hope it's Alright, I'll fucking I'll call you a stupid idiot if it's not worth it. Ringed finger. That's a weapon. That's a cool weapon from what I remember. Oh yes, yes, yes. I have that. That's right. I, it's all coming back to me now. Yeah. I'll it's never like, use like it. Looks like a dildo. Cool. Yeah. Let me look at it. I'm looking for it right now. Oh, there God, it is. It's a stupid fucking thing. Bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheath and several heavy rings, thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the finger creeper. Some life yet remains in the legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy, as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth it still exudes. The skill, claw flick, causes the finger to swell and flex to build up strength before giving enemies an almighty flick. That's what that looks like. Oh, you're using it already? Yeah, I have it. It gets Yo, engorged with blood. It gets fucking flooded with blood. Spongy like tissue within it floods with blood. So I guess that wasn't worth it, but well, a lot of people it's didn't a... find that. I bet though. It's a funny move. That's like a funny thing to like switch to in PvP and then like flick someone off a cliff. Yeah. That's tight. Ooh, and I think could be very wrong. I think across the way there might be an invisible wall. All right, let's check it out. What's a good Something. find, by the way, dude? Oh, glove yeah. wart. Oh, it's a drop down. Oh, it is a drop down. <laughs> drop to the left. Drop to the left. Got it. Made it.
Glove word seven. Glove word. <laughs> Oh, who's this asshole? I see something insane too. Yeah, what is it? Watching. Ah! Oh, Yo! You can Are you jump make onto it? it. You can? I think so. All right, I'll watch you do it one time, and then I'll do it. I can't believe I missed it. It's all right. I'll watch your technique. What the fuck? I just did the same bullshit. Ah, I killed him. Damn. It's all right I if I- jump too late. I think I know what you mean. It's probably like weird uh, latency because it's my world and it's online, you know? I'm gonna try it real quick. Oh, that's a hard jump to make. You have to sprint jump it. You have to sprint jump it or you'll come up short. Did you make it? Almost. I was like a cunt hair away. You have Did to you sprint die? jump it. Yeah. It's okay though. Okay. That'd be alright. I think it'll be gonna be alright. All right, looking for your sweet little s sign. Oh, by the way, did you know that we've missed like f like two seasons of uh, Deep Rock Galactic? Yeah. Yeah, there was like a Chinese New Year season, and now there's the new season, season five, where they added a new enemy type entirely. Oh yeah, what is it this time? I don't know. I didn't pry because I told my coworker who's telling me about it that like I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. Ah. So whatever. I'll see it if I see it. For me, that's one of those games like it had like really good run, but I don't see myself getting like hardcore back into it again. Ah oh, man, but we can finally do deep dives. All right. So like, how about this? Tomorrow, if I was like, yo, Dan, you want to play, like, Deep Rock for, like, two hours? Would you join me? I suppose. I mean, who would we play with, though? Just the two of us? We could do just the two of us, or we could see if we can... wrangle up another Tard or two. <clears throat> who? Alden? Well, well, you already know it's going to either be Alden or it's going to be Kurt. And Kurt's going to be Kurt a little doesn't difficult. have Xbox Live anymore. <clears throat> yeah. Would you stream with Alden or no? If, you, if it really you made you happy, I would. No, no, no. Listen, man. I don't want to make you do something you don't want to do. If you don't want to... Oh! I shouldn't... Ah, oh, I shouldn't... <sighs> Whatever. Cat's out of the bag. Would it be such a big deal to stream with Alden? Because personally, I don't mind. You know that already. No, though. I, don't, you don't... I don't mind. It's, I was just thinking more like playing Deep Rock again. Yeah. Okay. If it made you happy, I would do it. But I'm not it, super like hyped on it. It would make me happy to have a two-hour stream of Deep Rock Galactic and see what we can get into. I think we're a far cry away from doing deep dives anytime soon, though. Well, yeah, not at the moment. We're going to start with that. Ow. Yeah. I will say one thing, though. If, uh... One second. If we do do a deep dive, which I don't think we'll do, I'd probably be till the end of the stream. Because we, we, we would all have to warm up. And you think we can do a deep dive into me and Alden? No, but we can try. Alternatively, alternatively, I could ask my coworker Dylan to join us. 
with uh, autistic and, on? Yeah. Well, he's not autistic. Well, yeah, he's autistic. But he's also an asshole, which is worse. Yeah, I do well with assholes. Well, here's the thing. We would outnumber him. So if he, so if he wanted to be an asshole, we could just be an asshole back and make him look like a bigger asshole. But whatever. Uh oh, we got invaded. Of course, what a great place the, to invade people. It's all right. It's going to be hard for just as hard for him as it is for us. I'm honestly not worried about an invader in this area because one of two things is going to happen. We either won't see him, or he's gonna... Oh, hi. Nice. Idiot. Imagine trying to invade here. Uh, you can tell he's been practicing, too. Yeah. If you're gonna invade here, you kinda have to be a little well acquainted. He's counting on that chariot. Yeah. But we showed him. Mostly you showed him, but we showed him. Just a flurry of fucking... Come. Bullshit. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Like, honestly, like, if you don't want to do it, like, come tomorrow, I won't hold it against you. Alright. Yeah. Why do you, like, why do you have such a hard on for Deep Rock all of a sudden? So curiosity. Because I was thinking about it, and it's, it, it really is a fun game, man. Like, I like it. It's got, it's got, like, a nice little je ne sais quoi to it. Yeah. And I haven't played it in a while, and I still have it installed because it's such a small game. I don't, but it's super small, like you're saying. Yeah. It's a fun game. Is there something you don't like about it? I think I just got, like, burnt out on just, like, feeling it's really, like, samey. Oh, yeah, dude. Well... That kind of game. You do the same couple of missions over and over again, and you just grind for cosmetics, and you talk with friends. It's really the gist of it. All right. I honestly don't think it's worth a damn unless you have friends to play with. Mm -hmm. I feel like that game's not as really that fun unless you have four people too. So you have like all the roles filled. Nah, dude, we get by. No, we you can get definitely by. get by. It's just not as fun. I don't agree, but that's fine. I can see where you're coming from. I can see how it could be more fun with all the roles filled. It would, and I kind of, it would, it kind of bums me out that like it won't be like the old crew. It will be like a new guy. Yeah. Well, no. I, I can't. I don't know if I can agree with that. Like I always had just as much fun no matter who was playing. Oh my god, there's a fucking Hot Wheels car coming down the track that killed me. Ah, another Hot Wheels dude. Ugh. You could even see that on the instant replay. I did not see that little motherfucker coming. Well, Rune Arc popped. Lip Bomb on. Oh, I'll pick you up. Here we go. My coworker has been talking a lot about Valheim. Is that really a game you'll never get back into? Yeah, I'll never get back into that one. <sighs> Fair enough. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> But you guys should. If you, like, you guys love it. Yeah, me and Kurt will inevitably return back to it. It's just... Yeah. N but now I understand what you mean, how it's not as fun with the whole crew. That's mm. how I feel about Valheim. It was cool to have you as, like... Have you there. 
It was fun. It's just like certain types of games, like I get like real like sick of real quick. Uh, it takes like a real special, like specific type of game to get me like hooked, like Souls or something. I get to where that. like I'll play it over and over again forever. Metal Gear. Yeah. Right there, yeah. But would you, would you ever get back into it, even as a vehicle for us to talk and hang out? Yes. I don't know. I, it would be like a labor for me to do it. Uh, I get you. Not, not hanging out and talking with you, but like it would make me like dread it. Like I would like dread it all day. Just being honest. Oh, oh well, that's okay. Then never mind. That's awful. Then never mind. I wish I knew why. I don't know. That game just really like, didn't do it for me. Like it was one of those. It was, it's it's kind of like a lot of survival games that I've tried. Like the very beginning is kind of like exciting. It's like you're just starting, and then it's just the loop gets old for me really fast. I get that, but like even with like Minecraft, I could understand that it's like oh, even though I don't like this game, it's a cool game that I could play with friends and like at least I can. It's like a it's like an extended phone call. All right. But then it's like, why can't you guys just play it and I talk to you and do something else? Oh well, my! Because I like the talking to friends part. Because here's the thing: because at least you're like engaged with what we're doing. Because then it's like we're talking, but it's like we're still like gathering stone for a stone pile, or at least having like the absent-minded goal of doing something, I suppose. But I don't know. That's just how I look at it. If you don't want to play with it, that's, that's fine. I was just exploring the idea of like, I don't know. I don't mean to be a Scrooge, but just, like, just wish we could find a game that we all like loved that much. Oh yeah, dude. You and me both. I wish there was a game we could all just be like, oh yeah, dude, I cannot wait to get on. Right. For a while that was Bloodborne, but sometimes even that felt like pulling teeth with Kurt. Yeah. And I think he wanted to play it was just because he was like, I don't know, other factors. Other factors, that's a nice euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment, indeed, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's just one of those things where it's like confusing because it's like whatever like it's easy to say like well you know Kurt like is married and all this shit so like he has like more responsibilities than us maybe or something but then you're like but that motherfucker is playing some stupid game for like eight hours a day still it's not like he he like it's not like he's not playing video games ah it's not a stupid game Kenshi is addictive oh, well, you know whatever I don't just mean Kenshi I'm saying Banner Lord or like. He doesn't have trouble finding time to play Bannerlord for hours, but like, there'll Banner be times where he can't, he, he, like, we can't get him to play, like, Souls or something. Bannerlord's addictive too. Like, honestly, like, listen, like, I can't resonate with him right now, but I used to be like him, where I loved my solitude, and I liked coming home, and I liked playing a game I could get lost in. So I truly mm. do understand where he's coming from, because I was there. I'm not there anymore. I'd rather like play a game I could socialize with my friends with. Right. He's just Do you think that's phase. what it is? Is he just wants to be alone? Yes. And he just that, uses I know that, like I... other shit, like being married and stuff, as an excuse. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that's what that's, that's, that's def... where my disconnect was. Is it's like, well, he's like, it's like pulling teeth to get him to play Bloodborne, maybe or whatever. But it's like, but yet at the other time, he's like, yeah, I was up till five in the morning playing fucking Kenshi. It's like, oh really? Because. Oh my god. Yeah. We could but also at this... engaged in anything we were doing. But here's the thing, man, and this stays between you and me. And, and the whole everyone listening. And in the whole and and the <laughs> whole and the whole like even Kurt, maybe. The whole the whole nine viewers I have. Alright. Yeah. And maybe so, Kurt. And maybe Kurt. And it's and here's the thing, if Kurt heard it it wouldn't be a big deal. No. But I hope Morgan doesn't hear this. And Morgan's nice, but she's very demanding of all of his attention and time. But I get it, because I had a girlfriend who was the same way. They're very demanding of time and attention. But yeah, that's all I'll say about that.
There's nothing we can do. He's a married man, and we're not. That's a, well, that's what we're just saying, is that's not even the fact that he's married, I don't think. Well, yeah, it's not. That's uh, That all goes back to what I was saying earlier about the solitude. A chunk of it is solitude. Like, because yeah, if they're... he really wants to play a game, he'll find a way, even if it means waiting till his wife's asleep. Yes. But I don't think he would, like, try that hard to play, like, Bloodborne or something. No, he wouldn't. And I know that because I was that guy at one point. So I get it. I really do. It's annoying, yes, but what are you, uh, what, 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 what are you gonna do? <clears throat> I'm gonna rename this when I upload it to YouTube as the Kurt cast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Kurt Hillman cast. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be like, so I uh, took a little lissy poo to the uh, Kurt cast. So I decided to listen for once in my fucking life to my friend's <laughs> like, uh, creative and, uh, endeavors. He's like, then Dan, I have to say, uh, you're fired. No, it's not like that. And here's the thing about that for the other nine viewers and Kurt and or, and or Morgan, if you're listening. Um, <laughs> these are all things, you know, we, we say and we would say in front of Kurt. Like, these are things I wouldn't, you know, oh, yeah. we, can all, we, we can all kind of agree on. When it's not like we're talking behind backs. No. Um, I wouldn't say anything to the nine viewers on your Twitch that I would that I wouldn't say to his face. Yeah, exactly. And will tomorrow, baby. Mm -hmm. like, I've oh, been, I've been thinking, dude. You're a fucking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. <laughs> I'm thinking about you a lot, dude. <laughs> and uh, what the fuck? Dude. Imagine thinking about a person a lot. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> is that what being gay is? Thinking about a yes. person a lot? Okay. There's actually a big misconception. Being gay isn't liking men, it's thinking about specific individuals a lot. Oh yeah, cause like, for example, I know plenty of people that as soon as they have a girlfriend, they become the gayest people are. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. I have to agree on that sentiment. Of course, I've never been guilty of that. That I'll admit, but... Really? No, I don't know. I really, I actually, I've always prided myself on whenever I've had, like, a girlfriend or whatever. Uh... Like, at my most, like, chilling with homies time, like, in high school and shit. Mm -hmm. I always, like, just brought them with me. Like, I didn't, like hide away from my friends or I was just like well you're my girlfriend that means you're gonna come with me to hang out with these people it wasn't like a thing where I like changed my chilling habits too much that's, that's badass that I envy you on because yeah. I've been guilty of what exactly of what a criticize is where like I find a girl and my friends disappear because I don't hang out yeah because I'd rather hang out with my girlfriend and get pussy Honestly, the closest thing I've gotten to that was my last girl, which is when I've known you guys. But I mean, mm -hmm. I I just didn't bring her around a lot. But like, I still like made sure to ha I hung out with both. Certainly, you were able to divide your time. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I I could never I don't know because I've just I've resented a lot of people in my life for doing that same thing, so I could never do it. I've always been that guy. You would have hated me then. You really would have hated me. Maybe, or at least I wouldn't have hated you. I would probably just busted your balls. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Is it the end of the day, know. dude? Pussy versus fellowship? Come on. Don't count us. That's rich coming from you. How's that rich? <laughs> I'm just fucking. No reason. <laughs> when have I ever given up on fellowship for pussy? Never. Exactly. So, what are you talking about? I'm not talking about anything, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. So we're 34 minutes into the stream. Also, hello, uh, new viewer. I got a couple new viewers now. Let's see. How much do you want to bet that... We knock this out before the 45 minute mark, which is 10 minutes from now.
You talking you to me? You not... Yeah, oh yeah, I'm talking to you, dog. I don't know. You think we can knock it out in 10 minutes? Or do you think we it would take longer than that? Uh, it depends. We'll see. On if I die or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> As I die. <laughs> As you lay dying, there you are. Yep. <laughs> I'm not locked in. Ah, I don't blame you. It's fine. I'll come back for you. I'm on my way. Whoa. Almost dead. To be fair, we've only died once each now in the past 36 minutes. That's not bad. We're doing pretty good. It's kind of crazy. Like, it honestly doesn't feel like... A... I just had a stupid moment. Let me see. Let me see. There you are. I was about to say, it like uh, it feels crazy that we've been playing for 36 minutes, but then I realized we've been playing much longer than the the, the stream. Yeah. Because I, cause I have a constant timer, and it says it's been like 36 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I roast. Yeah, I roast. I'm funny. That's pretty good. All I right, drive so, a white Corvette. So actually, let me kind of get this straight about this dungeon. So like, the place where I died last, is this the same like area, or is it a whole new different area where we're dying? You mean like when we went all the way to the bottom and then dropped down again? There's like multiple chariots. Okay, so it's not the same chariot killing us. Okay. There's at least two in this dungeon, but I get these mixed up because they're kind of similar. They are. Uh, I get that. Jesus, dude. This chariot. Ow. Ooh. Oh. Wow, dude. That was a brain rot moment right there. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Oh, you know what I just realized? I should have been checking the chat for... Uh, what's his name? People talking uh, shit? No, not people talking shit, but uh, what's his name? Giant's dead? Oh, uh, yeah. A reoccurring fucking viewer. Fuck. He's probably dead. Probably gone. Put your sign down or no? Yep. Oh, there it is. Fucking retarded. Oh shit, dude. Speaking of retarded, I heard my fucking manager giving one of my coworkers grief today for saying the word retarded. Really? Yeah, dude. What are you talking Huh? I know, dude. It's like, come on. If you give someone shit for saying you're retarded, you are retarded. I know. I know. And, I, and I'm inclined to believe with you. I truly am. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, what do I, how do I say this? One second, let me trigger this guy. 
How fitting. Right, I know. Oh yeah, now I remember what I was going to say. Okay. Kill these niggas! Kill this! Okay. Back in that chariot. Alright. Oh, I forgot war. I forgot war. Okay. There we go. Alright, so on top of like my manager like giving my coworker shit about saying the retard word, mm -hmm. uh, what made it like funny to me was like after a while it was just like me and her. And when I first started working, she told me, she was like, Okay, Dylan, we're gonna be cool, but you can't say the three slur words. And I was like, Okay. And I and she was like, You know what they are? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> Faggot, nigger, and retard. <laughs> I like said them aloud, like absentmindedly, and she said yes, exactly. But you're not gonna call them that. You're gonna call them the f word, the n word, and the c word. <laughs> and the she, c word? Or not a c word. I'm retarded. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Faggot, uh, faggot, retard, nigger, f and r. I should say. Second. This fucking nigger has to die first. Did she realize how much she was hamstringing you by that simple statement? Yeah, it's funny because this is this is literally what I said. Like she brought it up again today. She's like, so you know what words not to say, right? And I was like, yeah, I don't say F and I don't say N and I don't say R. And she's like, yeah. She's like, you, Dylan, you can say those t things anytime you want on your off time, but don't say them here. And I was like, oh, have you seen my stream? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously she hasn't, but I th I just thought it was funny. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if she did. Dude. I sometimes wonder what people would think if they saw my streams. <laughs> I wonder if they'd be able to make the deduction that like I'm not actually racist, but just I'm saying shit. This invader's coming down, by the way. We have an invader? Oh fuck, I see him. Well, here comes the fucking chariot. Won't let me more. through. God damn it. Nice, dude. You killed him before I died, though. Nice. Bloody finger vanquished. That was interesting. You're gonna have to peep that on the on the stream actually. At minute forty two. If you tune to minute forty two, you're gonna see you just solely handling that guy. <laughs> from from afar. Yeah. While I'd I'm like trying to, to desperately roll. Credit. I have to look again, but I think maybe the chariot hit him too, but I did get him a couple good times. No. Nah, he was man. panicking because he didn't know I was there and cause he was trying to come for you. Mm -hmm. And I was like I was like in the corner and then he, he tried to take refuge in my little Nook and I just came right out at him and then. Bro, record like, the last minute. Record the last minute if you haven't already, because I'm curious to see that. Tight, 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 tight. Then we traded some blows in the nook, but then he like, I th I don't know if I got the last blow or if the chariot hit him when he was like, or if he was like on the edge of like being out in the open. Man, I love trading fucking blows in the nook. Just <laughs> uh. We have a minute to beat this dungeon, and then it will have been. Oh, yeah. I blame myself. I honestly think the edibles have kicked in, and the several shots of tequila kicked in as we entered this dungeon. Yeah. That's crazy. If I had recorded like our entire playthrough up until that point, it would be highlight worthy, like highlight reel worthy. Mm -hmm. Didn't die at all. First tried every single boss. Every time we got invaded, killed. Killed immediately. <laughs> <laughs> 
Except for that one guy that talked shit. Took, took like a minute or so to take him down. Oh, yeah. But at least it was a, like an honorable fight on both ends. That guy was funny. I'll never forget that guy. Mm -hmm. I Dread, still read. Dreadlord Nito. Dreadlord Nito. R.I.P. Dreadlord Nito. You look like a fucking yeah. idiot. We didn't stream it, but <laughs> Shout man. out, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Shout out Dreadlord Nito on Xbox Live. That spaces in between each name. The guy was a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god. He was a salty sea dog. He was. Give you a little assist there. Appreciate you. Yeah, bud. Oh. It's alright, I'm gonna make it. I'm a big boy now. As long as I make this. Yeah. It'll be alright. Alright. Wait. And then. Ooh, go! Oh no. Oh, we're fucked, dog. Well, we're good. Just, yeah. <laughs> As we get fucking corkscrewed. <laughs> yeah, it's so. Where's the damn corkscrew? Where's the corkscrew? <laughs> you know where that's from, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a fucking. I don't talk about it much, but I used to be quite the fucking. Friday the 13th, aficionado. That's tight. Hey Dan, where's the corkscrew? Where's the damn ah! corkscrew? <laughs> damn, that's crazy. That has one of my favorite kills in all of uh, Friday the 13th. At the beginning, remember like the, the Canadian, uh, fuck. I'm fucked. Oh, I made it. The Canadian hitchhiker. I don't know why I think it's Canadian. I don't actually. My memory is uh, so a little at the, fuzzy. At the very beginning of that movie, like all the kids, including the guys, says, "There's a damn corkscrew." Uh, yeah. They're all in like a car heading to the lake, and they they drive by this like overweight hippie chick that's like holding up a sign, like to try to get a ride. Yeah. And they like they like slow down as if they're gonna stop. Like one, I think a couple of the kids are like, "Come on, like let's don't don't be mean or whatever." And they like pull, and then she gets up like excitedly, like thinks they're gonna pick her up, and then they go, Hey girl, you got a sister? <laughs> and then they peel out and leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she like flips them off and sits back down and starts eating a banana. <laughs> and then <laughs> Jason comes up behind her and like sticks it, grabs like her fucking forehead from behind and like sticks a knife through the back of her throat. And like right. bananas like pouring out of her throat, and it, like the camera just does a shot of just her hand. Squeezing the banana with a death grip and it like squiggling out like a dick, like and falling. What the fuck? I've never seen this. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I just remember I have this like core memory of like me and my friends watching that, and just da laughing so hard that we were like rolling around on the ground and like rewinding it and watching it over and over again. I'm gonna fucking look at this later. That sounds insane. <laughs> I love that 80 schlock, dude. I used to. I used to love the Friday 13th movies. That's part four, I believe, with the final chapter or whatever with the... The one where he goes to New York. The boat one? Yeah, that's eight. That's my favorite, personally. Takes Manhattan? I hate that one. Well, I don't hate that one, but it's... I can see no, why you don't like it. I can see why you don't like it. I only like it because I I remember the part where he punches that dude's head off, and that was like my favorite thing on the planet. Oh yeah, that's like the one cool part. Yeah, dude. Well, no, there's the part where he shows his like face to those like thugs on the street. Yeah, like within that's... like the ten minutes that he's actually in Manhattan in the movie, <laughs> even though the whole movie's called Jason Takes Manhattan. Yeah, that was iconic. That was like cool. They, didn't, was they didn't have enough budget to actually film anywhere, so that's why like the, the almost the entire movie's on that boat. I heard that. I feel like I heard that on like a like a Cinemassacre documentary, honestly. Really? Yeah, but I've heard that. Maybe not there, but if it was anywhere, it's, it'd be I there. mean, it's a fact. That's crazy.
Because I had, like, the DVD set when I was, like, 12, and it had, like, I used to listen to, like, the commentaries and everything. Really? I love hitting the fucking DVD commentaries. Yeah. Die, bitch. You ever watch the Resident Evil films? Yes. Oh, I've watched, like, the old ones? Or, like, the most recent? Uh, the old ones, like, one and two. The ones with, uh, what's her name? Mila Jovovich? Yeah. Yeah, dude, you seen those? Unfortunately, yes. You say unfortunately, those films have a charm. The first one is bearable, but all the other ones are, to me, are just absolute garbage. Oh, but I've watched them all. Second's tight in its own way. Two's tight in its own way. But one is the best, but it's also not saying much. But yeah. here's the reason I, the reason I bring them up is because those films actually have some of the best, like, DVD commentaries I've ever heard in my life. They are so funny. Now that you say that, I feel like you may have told me this before. I, I tell it to everyone, anyone who will listen. Because they, they are... That's the progenitor like of podcasts. Yeah. Like, they, like, knew that they did a shitty job in the film, but they were just, like, you know, joking around. And they would always tell, like, interesting tidbits, but in, they would always have good chemistry. I honestly think that the reason I like podcasts so much is because I listen to, like, DVD commentaries like that back in the day. Yeah, yeah probably. You know who else is a great uh, duo to listen to? I've, I've oh. like, I've never uh, listened to the whole commentaries, but I've watched, like, clips on uh, YouTube. Apparently, anytime John Carpenter and uh, Kurt Russell do a commentary together, it's, like, the funniest thing on the planet. Really? Because, like, uh, I've seen clips of their, like, commentary on, like, the thing and stuff, and they're just, like, dying laughing the entire time. <laughs> it's really? very funny. It's, like, infectious, too. Yeah. That's tight. I gotta check it out. Yeah, there's some, like, compilations on YouTube that just, like, show, like, different clips with, like, their commentaries over it. It's very funny. That is funny. I'll have to peep it. I like shit like that. Oh, he's gonna roll down here. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, cool. If you can make it here, you're safe. Uh... Wow, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. I did not think you'd make that jump. the sound. Me too. It sounds like good pussy. Jesus Christ, do we really have to do this all the way there? It's been faster than walking. No. Oh my god. Dude. No way, dude. Yeah, dude. It came all the way down here just to do that to me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wow, dude, are you serious? Yeah, damn. <sighs> Try this one more time. That was fucking insane. And we're supp Are you are you sure we're supposed to be down there? I mean that's how you get to the boss. There might be another way, but I'm pretty sure that's how I've always gotten to the boss from here. Okay. We'll do it your way once more, and we'll see what happens. I did not think it would come all the way down there. It, like, adapts to what you're doing. It's pretty annoying. Yes. I'm practicing my backstepping right now. Damn it. I still got a lot to learn.
Oh my god! This motherfucker never hits me. Where's the corkscrew? Yeah. <laughs> the damn corkscrew! <laughs> wow, that's insane. I never thought I'd ever hear anyone make that fucking reference. Really? Yeah, no, never. That's like such an esoteric thing to me, dude. That's like if you muttered my, like, social security number under your breath. <laughs> the same shock value. It, yeah, exactly. That's what it felt like. <laughs> well, you can go this way. I'm sure. Like, the, the, this is probably just like the longer way. I think like dropping down the what, what we were doing is just like the just like an alternate and a roundabout. Route. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think we can just go this way. Just putting off the risk dying like in a haphazard way. In a gay way. <laughs> Die, monster. Don't hit that thing. No, I know. Please. I mean, my lesson. Please, Please don't. Don't jump on it, damn mind. Please, no. I beg of thee. Christ Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> that would have killed me, too. <laughs> that would have killed the shit out of me. <laughs> I think you want to go left, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, see, now he's going further. Yeah, dude, what the hell? They're mixing it up. Fucking Adeptus Mechanicus, dude. Dude. Adeptus Abettus. This is the Adeptus Mechanicus! <laughs> no, it's not. What? Dude, this is the fucking Underhive. No, it's not. <laughs> dude, if you think about it, dudes. Hado's basically right. No, it's not. I will not even allow that kind of talk, ironically. Hado's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful creature. Oh, my pussy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. Big... I'm just like face down in some fucking lava. I'll be alright. No, no, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm alright. Somehow. Simply unbelievable. No, please! I'm begging you, dude. This is retarded, Dan. How are we gonna make this, dude? God. Is there anywhere Dan. else to go up there? No. Dan, we're not gonna make it. Yeah, there is. I'm dead. Are you going down? I went down. I thought that was the way we we're supposed to go. No. Well, I thought. I thought you're. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, for some reason, I thought well, like there was like another like direction we could have gone at that turn. Oh no! Because going down where you just were is where you had to like back stuff that you didn't want to go. I thought. It's not. Was, was there another way to go? I thought so, but maybe I'm just mistaken. That's all right. We'll figure it out on our last try right now. Alright, Dan. I am the hand, you are the will. I'll follow you. I'll follow you into the fucking lost mines of Phandelver. 
I might even ride bear back with you across the plains of Eidolon. <laughs> pause. Hey, yo, pause. <laughs> hey, yo, pause. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At this point, I'm kind of like begging for another invasion. I wouldn't mind another fucking little idiot who thinks he could step to us. Well, actually, remind me. Okay, there we go. Die. These past couple invasions, did we win or lose? We've won both times. Alright, tight. Oh, I forgot. You I always forgot. forget. I forgot. Wow, headshot. Fucking retard. What are you fucking retard? Oh, I always get slowed down by the lava. Oh my god. Remember, you're compromised now. Oh. I'm Cameron Keneally, who works at Store 82 at Twin Lakers. <laughs> I'm compromised. And I'm a compromised. Compromised Keneally, they call me. <laughs> I drink let's just, let's just say I've had text-based communications with minors. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, Cameron Keneally had. <laughs> let's just say I won't be recommending the stream. But... <laughs> no, you'd love it, dude. Love it. It's something him and his bull would love. It's tight. <laughs> Mikhail. Mikhail. <laughs> Mik Mikhail. <laughs> Mikhail. Oh, Mikhail. Oh, my bull, Mikhail. I always thought it was very brave for Cameron to house an, uh, an Israeli expat during this trying time. That's true. <laughs> Do you know Mr. James always talking about that? Oh, that watery voice buffoon? Yes. <laughs> my daughter married an Israeli. Oh, it's pretty crazy times. Did he actually say that? Yes. Dude. I thought that's what you were referencing, that. honestly, but then I realized, like, I think that was after you left that he said that. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> weird flex, but okay. Yeah, I'm a weird guy. Can I say? I've married into the Israeli bloodline. <laughs> this is America. We can do whatever we want. Come on. I'm Jewish now. <laughs> Getting circumcised at the age of 75. Come on. She is, dude. Imagine. Ah, well, we just went to full Monty and we cut my whole dick off. <laughs> <laughs> Full oh, Monty, it's such a funny thing to bring back. <laughs> <laughs> you said it the other day too. Caught, caught me funny. I said it really, really. <laughs> you did. I'm trying to remember what the context was, but I remember it taking it being taken aback because I haven't heard that like term in a while. I can't believe I've said that before. That's funny. Maybe it was about the throwing up, <laughs> pretending to throw up thing. <laughs> oh yeah! Like, like, really, she went to full Monty. <laughs> I did say that. I recall that now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm all right. I just did the full Monty. <laughs> no cock off. <laughs> oh man. I cut off my whole brazil. <laughs> my whole oh, fucking latka. <laughs> Mr. James is <laughs> a fucking retard. <laughs> 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 
the time he demanded that Cameron call Kurt in his day off, and Kurt got so fucking pissed. Was like, oh, <laughs> Are you calling me? <laughs> He's like, because he loves Kurt, and he wanted Kurt's, like, recommendations on wine or something, and Kurt was off. Mm -hmm. He said, can't you call him? And Cam did, and <laughs> Kurt was fucking livid. Very funny. That's really uh, funny, actually. Fuck. I believe in you. Are you down there already? No, I'm not. Are you sure that's the way we gotta go? I think so. All right, I'll follow you, dude. I'll follow you. Working on it. Gotta wait one more crop rotation on my way down. I gotta roll through this. I gotta eat it. That's all right. Woo! All right, one second. I gotta fight a shadow demon. Yeah, the... Oh, no. What? I died like a bitch, yeah? But it's alright. We're gonna get at this one last time. There. I lost you for, like, for a second. Did you go further down towards, like, the lava yeah. pit? Yeah. I thought you did, but and then I slipped into a pocket that had the shadow beast that fucking, you know, that one... Little bastard. It's the uh It's the guy who's a boss once upon a time. In one of these dungeons. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The one with like the weird shit on his head and he's like mandibles. Oh yeah. Crab face McGee. Yes sir. Actually, you know what? I know I'm summoning you right now, but I think this is actually a good time to call it. Alright. We'll get him next time. Yeah, I'm getting Mimi says. Like, after being, like, badass for, like, straight, like, two hours, maybe more, and then, like, running our head against the same dungeon, I'm realizing, like, eh, maybe we should sleep on it. Uh, maybe, I should, right. maybe, I should, maybe I should sleep on it. Sleep well, well, on this? really funny coming from you. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You think I give a shit that you refuse to elaborate? Yeah. That's tight. That's so tight. It's so tight. It's so tight. So what, after this we have to do... We're not even done with really with Mount Gelmir. We still have probably no. a couple places to go. And then yeah, maybe Volcano a, a Manor. dungeon or two, and then Volcano Manor, and then the capital, and Mountaintops of the Giants, and the Consecrated Snowfield. Oh, I didn't know about any of these places. Consecrated Snowfield. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? It's like a, almost a whole other continent-sized area. What the hell? Really? Yeah. Uh, I thought, you, like... Because you, like, you don't really, like see the full scale of the map until you get there and get the map fragments, but there's still like a huge like continent after the capital. <sighs> That's crazy. Because I thought the capital was like in game. Like I thought we were oh, basically no. at the threshold. That's insane. The capital is more like uh maybe a little further in comparison to like Anne Orlando. Okay. Like, so it's like the Sin's Fortress? I'd say maybe it's like two thirds. Okay. Of the way through. Like it's later than Anne Orlando shows up in Dark Souls. So it's like so two thirds and halfway. So it's like beating on Orlando and Tomb of the Giants? I guess. But there's still like, like I said, Mountaintop of the uh, Giants and the Consecrated Snowfield and then that's not even counting the two side areas too. There's Mikola's Hallig Tree and Crumbling Pharaoh Missoula. And then a DLC. Yes. Jesus, dude. There's so much so much Elden Ring before us. For sure. It's tight though. 
so tight. I don't know about you, but I, I kind of see these games, Elden Ring especially, like more of like a marathon than a race. Like I'm actually enjoying my time back to it, even though I felt like I was like really wanting to get to the DLC. Yeah, I know. I could tell at first. Yeah, I was like, ah, let's just. Uh, let's... It's like no, that's it's not like the way. will still be there, dude. Yeah. Not going anywhere. True, true words have never been spoken. Shit, man. Alright, man. Well, I guess it's a good time to call it. 3.30. Yeah. But you want to play tomorrow or not? Nah? Sure. Alright. I'm more than like likely said, all about you then. Like you said, we got a lot to do, so. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what's the order real quick before we get off? So it's July now. Wait, what? When? Wait, it's like July right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You think we can beat the game before October? October? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. Why? I was just curious. Oh, okay. I kind of like... I kind of like to have like just like place markers in place to be like see like it's like all right how long is this really taking me to beat this game kind of thing you know. Are you still streaming? Oh shit yeah I am. <laughs> That's how you. That's how you. Getting the fucking behind the scenes. Behind the curtain dude. Behind the candelabra. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, for for real, for real, for real. All right, man. Well, this is a. I'll I'll holler at you tomorrow, man. We'll we'll fucking continue this adventure later. All right, man. All right, later. Peace. Peace.